Welcome back for another episode. Today we're just going through the entire RC collection and all the upgrades we have so far. First we're starting off with the fast cars, my pride and joy, the limitless, and then fraction. And then we're going to go through all the 24 scales I have. One of the first subscribers on my channel wants some ideas for his 24, so we're going to go into a lot of detail on the upgrades for these. And then after that, we'll go into the big trucks. So first up, we have the Limitless. This is my pride and joy. I just started speed running a few months ago, and I gotta say, I'm addicted. I wake up every day and I start researching on how I can make this faster and how to make it better. Um, I buy as a roller, so that means no electronics included. I had to supply all the electronics. Uh, we have a Castle 1717 1650 KV motor. It's pretty small, so it fits in the stock position but super fast. Guys have gotten up over 150 miles an hour with this motor. These right here are Lucid RC fans. These are the best fans out there, guys. They can, you could throw rocks, dirt, whatever you want through them and they won't break, they won't chip. Nothing will happen to these fans and they're powerful, super powerful. We got the uh, XLX2 castle esc to handle all the power this is what most of the speed runners are running nowadays um us8 connectors uh, we got this metal brace these metal lower braces this is so if we crash the chassis won't bend or is a lot less likely to bend uh we cut out the receiver box to be able to fit this xlx2 because it's so big so my receiver's up here right now my entire drivetrain on this car is all from Scorch Parts RC. It's entirely locked. The center diff is locked, the rear diff is locked, the front diff locked. That helps you stay in control when you're going up over 100 miles an hour. It helps to keep the car very straight. Um, you can see that all the diffs are locked. If you spin one tire, all the tires spin the same direction. It's not good for drifting, but it's great for speedruns. Um, next, the front end. I have bolts going all the way through these front splitters. I was having problems getting up over 130 and these just blowing apart. Woo. Oh! Oh! Oh, damn! Uh, of course, the foam tires, that helps with a lot more grip. We got the wing from Scorched RC. This wing helps out a lot. You could even go out on a windy day and this car will stay straight with this wing when you're going up over 100 miles an hour. It's crazy how the aerodynamics help when you're going that fast with the RC. So I've been running this car on this Flysky GT5 and it's not too bad. I have an airplane receiver in here so it has like 600 meters of range I want to say. But I keep losing range, it keeps cutting out, I've been having problems with it. So. We have a Fly Sky Noble. Guys, this is like one of the best remotes you can get. And we have this airplane receiver that has 3,500 meters of range. We shouldn't have any problem losing connection anymore. Another plan I have going on with this car is we are going to attach a GoPro to the rear wing right here, just like this in this case. Call it put a bolt through the wing so it doesn't go anywhere. But we should be able to get some good footage with the GoPro on the back right there. And right here, we just got a light set from Polo Creations. So we could try and do some night speed runs. These lights are freaking amazing. I cannot wait to t test them out. I mean, just look at those. You got light bars on the front, you got underglow, and then you have rear working tail lights. So when you break, they get brighter. I cannot wait to set up these lights. And guess what? We got a light set for the infraction too. So we can go drifting at nighttime. Just look at those rear lights. It's gonna be epic, guys. Next up, we got the infraction. I just got this a few weeks ago. It's gonna just be like a drag, maybe drift car. Um, I took it out over the weekend, ended up crashing into a pole, I destroyed a carbon fiber skirt. Carbon fiber was supposed to be strong. 
<laughs> Look at that. Damn. And we ended up blowing one of the diffs or something. Something's locked up in it. <laughs> uh, last night, or the night before, we just did shoe goo drywall tape modification. This helps keep the body, it basically makes the body indestructible for a while. If you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on new bodies, I would highly suggest doing this modification. Um, otherwise, this truck is mostly stock. We have Score Star C titanium skid plates. They're pretty cool, they make sparks when they hit the ground. It's one more pass. Oh, see those sparks, dang! That's gonna be a lot. Uh, we put a silicone earplug in the center diff and that might be our problem. It might have locked it up too much and we might have blown the center diff. Otherwise, we put uh, 500K in the rear and then 500 mixed with 1 million up in front to make 750K weight differential fluid. Um, there should be more coming to this channel with the infraction for sure. I want to make it 8S eventually, so stay tuned. Next up, we got the 24 gang. These little RCs are addictive, guys. I would highly suggest not buying one unless you just want to fall into a money pit. Okay, so this first one is my tow truck. Um, it's in pieces right now. We put the brand new Komodo motor from Fury Tech along with a Fury Tech ESC in it. I was hoping, for some reason, I thought this motor was gonna be fast, but it's a slow crawling motor. I'm trying to make this tow truck fast so it could pull, pull this trailer faster. Um, I'm probably gonna end up putting this motor in a different crawler and converting this to a brushless motor so it could go fast. Otherwise, it is completely converted to all metal. Metal axles, metal links, metal everything. The heaviest treel bead locks you can get heavy treel diff weight covers, um, Emacs servo, uh, the ESCs up here from right now. This one I basically made all metal just so it could tow more weight on the trailer. And then, oh yeah, hot racing shocks in there. So pretty much everything has been upgraded on this. And then a little light bar for towing. Next, I'm gonna show you guys this trailer. If you're in the SEX 24 game, then you know all about the big country. Everybody runs these big country trailers. So what's different about this trailer is, as a working winch, so you bring this back and it drags whatever car up onto the trailer and it also holds it on. Um, there's a lot bigger tires on it. These are stock SEX 24 tires off a Jeep. I had to custom make all the axles and glue some plastic pieces on there to be able to raise it, to be able to take these bigger tires. And then we have a bunch of lights on the bottom. I haven't seen anybody's trailer with lights. So you just stick a nine volt battery in here. You got some underglow, you flip it around. You got loading lights right here. Here, try and make it easier to see. Got some loading lights. We got some tail lights back here. And then of course the underglow. We got this Jeep. This was the first one I modified. It has a nine millimeter bullet for a stack. Uh, it has custom headlights and custom tail lights. Uh, the roof rack. Uh, we got the front bumper, so it has two sets of headlights actually. Lots of lights on this thing. Um, I got the double barrel shocks. I actually figured out it runs better without the springs. Uh, it keeps the weight down so then when you're crawling it just wants to reach out and grab instead of just overloading and then you want to tip over. Um, trail bead locks again. There's trail bead locks on all my cars. Uh, I wish I got different ones so I could be more unique, but it is what it is. Next we got this Jeep. Um, we just got a few little parts off eBay from it. We got another bumper on it. Same Pago and tires, trail bead locks. Uh, this is one of the few that still has a stock motor and stock servo. Otherwise, all these have Emacs servos and barrage motors. This is one of my favorite ones right here. The deadbolt. So we got some big mud slingers. Um, we got a Fury Tech ESC in here. And it's actually hooked up to my Fly Sky. So we took out the stock receiver 
in the stock ESC. Uh, we got his little girlfriend in there, little Lego figure. We got the roof rack. We got the inside light bar. We got the driver. We switched out for this dude's head. Um, also got the double barrels on here, but we four linked it. And this is actually as long as you can make the links. So basically it has two deadbolt butt ends on here. It's got the same links on the back that it does on the front. So this is as long as you can make it with the long drive shaft on the front and the back. I mean, just look how long that car is. This is one of my favorite to drive for sure. Next we got the green tow truck. This one's still pretty much all stock. We have all the pieces to upgrade it. We just haven't had time yet. Um, this is the tow truck for the boat. This is actually a little RC too. This is made by Horizon also. Um, so we got a little trailer hitch on this just to tow the boat. And then we have a front weighted differential just to have more weight on the front to help crawling. You always want more weight on the front for a crawler. Usually about 60, 40 for these. Next, we got another deadbolt. So this one, I tried making it into like a competition deadbolt. Uh, I made it as long as I could, just like the air one. Uh, it's lightweight and everything. Um, nothing special to it. Uh, lights, has barrage motor, Emacs servo. Just metal links on the front to help with the weight on the front. I widened this one with just the axle extenders, so you don't have to buy the wider axles. And it actually helps out with weight if you're going with less weight. Next, we got this little 24 scale Charisma Subaru. This is probably the first RC that I modified almost everything on. Literally everything. The stock electronics kind of suck on it. But, if you see, there's definitely bigger tires on it. These are actually from SEX 24s. I glued them onto the rims. And then underneath, we got light bar works everything so this has full electronic swap we have actually a fury tech race esc in here um we cut the chassis out to be able to fit a giant well big for this car at least a big drone battery that has a lot more power this little thing has gotten up to 35 miles an hour my goal is to make it to be able to go 50 miles an hour um we even got a little cap pack on there look at that thing <laughs> Uh, it's a lot wider. We got oil shocks on it, uh, metal dog bones. Um, basically everything on this has been modified. It's super fun to drive. This is the air little 24 scale Subaru. Um, it's in pieces. We have to do a complete rebuild of it. Uh, when we rebuild this one, we actually have a drone ESC that can handle 4S, a little drone ESC that's gonna fit in this. It's going to handle 4S. I haven't seen anybody put anything more than 2S on these. So I can't even imagine what it's going to do on 4S. We got two batteries for it, but here's all the other pieces for it. Um, he's got a little girlfriend in there, you know. They always need a rider. Next, we got the Santan. This is one of my favorite RCs lately, guys. And for the price, I think it's one of the best RCs ever made in the world. It's only like 300 bucks, and you can drive the hell out of it. Um, the only thing I've had to replace on it so far is the tires, which isn't bad. These tires are a lot better anyways. It's a lot funner to drive now. Um, I have two broken shocks. We got new ones to fix them, but that's only one of the downfalls of this stock truck is the shocks come apart pretty easily. Otherwise, everything else is great on this truck. I got a little bit of broken front bumper, a little bit of broken back bumper, but for how I've been driving it, that is minimum damage. One more thing guys, I reinforced this body with dragon armor. It's called RC Dragon Armor. Um, I would suggest not wasting your money on it. Uh, it. Even says right on it, you can't get it wet or else it'll come off. And if you're a basher like me, you're going through puddles, you're getting your RC wet, you need something that holds up a little bit better. 
and I even been avoiding water since it said it's not waterproof. But still, look at this, guys. It just cracks right through the body. It really doesn't help at all. It just looks kind of cool. It's it doesn't hold up like the drywall shoe goo modification. If there's one way to go, it's the drywall shoe goo. The low C. Low C DBXL 2.0. And guys, this thing is massive. I just got this off Craigslist for 700 bucks, which is like half price of new. And it's in pretty good shape. Um, no modifications yet, except for my QS8 connectors, just so I could use the batteries that I run. Uh, we do have one modification we got ready to put in. So we got a big old servo to put in. I drove in it once and realized the servo sucks. And there's room for two servos, so you could have dual servos for double the power, which we got two of. They were on sale, so I couldn't help myself. And even if we just run one, uh, we could put one of those extra servos in the X-Max because the X-Max definitely needs one as well. Next, we got the X-Max, which is also ginormous. When I got this, I made the mistake of not drywall shoe gooing the body, so the body's in really bad shape. Uh, we do have this roll cage we were running. It does help the body a lot. If you own an X-Max, I'm sure you've seen this roll cage for sale. The only thing that's bad about this roll cage is the bracket on the back always breaks. I've even made my own out of some reinforced plastic, but it still is a weak spot. It always wants to break there. Otherwise, this truck is mostly stock. We got a new servo we could put in it. Um, we do have metal steering links. This is a weak point on the X-Max, so it's actually not a bad idea to upgrade these to metal. Otherwise, you want to keep this truck mostly plastic, keep it lightweight, and that's what keeps it durable. Because this plastic on this truck is actually really durable, guys. Last but not least, we got SEX-10-2 Rock Crawler. This was the very first RC I ever bought about a year ago now. I've only been in the RC game for about a year and I already got all this crap. So, this was stock up until a couple months ago and I got super addicted to building the SEX-24 so I decided to build this as well. Um, we got aftermarket Chinese front bumper, aftermarket Chinese back bumper, both metal. We got the Chinese special mud slingers off of Amazon with the Hobby Soul bead locks. Super cheap off Amazon. Uh, we went with all metal links. Uh, we got brass diff covers and brass steering knuckles. Oh, since we added all the weight, this thing actually had a tipping problem, so we extended the axles, which helped. So this thing actually crawls very well, guys. Like, I'm surprised. We'll do a video on it one of these days. We'll go to Mini Moab here in Colorado, and it's just the coolest place to go crawling. If you guys like what you see, hit that like button. If you guys want to see what's coming to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Because we got some crazy ideas coming to the channel. I really want to get this limitless going. We want to fit this giant TP motor in there. We want to fit some lights. We want to fit that camera on there. And we want to take this down main streets in the middle of the night. Get up over 150 miles an hour. So this is the GT chassis we have coming in from Scorched RC. I can't wait till this comes in. This is going to make it so much easier to be able to fit that big motor in there and everything else we got to fit into this big build. I mean, just look at this, guys. For experienced specialist users, hopefully that's us. Hopefully we can handle it. If you like what you see, hit that like button. See you in the next episode.